Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doodlo, 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 do. Subscribe. Okay, I watched Drive My Car today, and um, that movie is nominated for Best Picture uh, by the uh, Academy, the Oscars. And I'm trying to watch all the Best Picture uh, nominees prior to the show, so this one was definitely on my list. Um, this movie is almost to the T, an a or three hours long, uh, just shy by one minute, if I uh, am, am correct with what I you know saw online. Um, and you, just sitting through it, yeah, I can tell it's a long movie, but I was never disinterested. Uh, that never happened to me. I'm very, I kind of tired too going into it, but I s stayed awake, stayed interested, stayed engaged the entire time, which I think is always good because even like movies that um, are very action packed, if I'm tired going into them, if they aren't interesting, even with all the action, I can, you know, easily pass out. But uh, this one kept my attention throughout. And I thought it was kind of interesting because it's about this like a uh, play director um, and we see he also acts in plays and we see uh, him directing right and he's known for playing the main role everybody thinks he would play the main role and he chooses not to uh, he just wants to direct and he's dealing with a lot of trauma and that's sort of what's holding him back from playing that role and uh, this uh, I guess production company play production company um, that he is uh, currently with uh, they supply him with a driver to and from his um, hotel to where you know they're practicing and everything um, and uh, this driver is um, also experienced some trauma in their life and this movie in a way is just sort of um, the two of them forming a bond and then uh, sort of discussing with one another their different traumas and uh, helping each other out through those um, issues and um, eventually you know helping to to maybe get beyond them in a, in a in a better place anyway so what's interesting about this though I think I <laughs> left my uh, line of thinking uh, so we have these plays in the movie and we keep cutting to them them being performed or them being practiced and what they remind me of is Watchmen like when you're reading uh, Watchmen you have that comic but then you have um, the comic that's being read within the comic Tales of the Black Freighter or if you're watching the movie version you have the animated sequences uh, Tales of the Black Freighter and I feel like then and, and how they sort of parallel what's going on in the movie in in a way I feel like that's sort of what's going on here with we're watching drive my car but we have this play called Uncle I forgot I forgot oh my goodness what is it Yevon Yavin ah, I can't remember I can't remember what it's called uh, actually we have two plays in there waiting for uh, Guffman it's not waiting for Guffman uh, but we have uh, two plays I feel like I'm describing this so poorly but anyway we have two plays uh, and it's like running along parallel to the actual movie that you're watching and it's just kind of interesting how they relate to one another and how they sort of help move the movie forward and uh, help some conclusions arrive I don't know it just kind of reminded me of Watchmen anytime a movie does something like that has another bit of media in it that we are supposed to be paying attention to and helps us get a deeper reading of the film that we are watching uh, I think um, that that is interesting sometimes. Not always, but I think it it was here. I thought it was in the Watchmen, and we like when I read the Watchmen, um, and that and that happens here. Um, so one another interesting thing about this movie, I, I like I I didn't it, everybody was sort of like it was kind of stagnant. 
like I was still very engaged. I think that's what was sort of amazing to me is I was engaged throughout, but most of the movie was watch listening to people talk, seeing people sit. There wasn't a lot of movement in it. And you think a movie called Drive My Car, Car, would have a lot of movement in it. But yeah, there was a, a stagnant quality and a lot of what was going on was going on in the brains of our characters, right? We aren't seeing things. We are reading faces of the actors and hearing their, their thoughts when they are communicating with one another, forming relationships, forming bonds, telling stories, things like that. So I thought that was kind of interesting. I, I mean, I, may, maybe that's not interesting. There are a lot of movie, movies that are that way that uh, keep my attention. There's a great movie with Keanu and Win Winona Ryder um, where they go, on a, go, go to a destination wedding and um, all, all they're doing is sitting next to each other and talking. That's the entire movie for, uh, for the most part. And I found that incredibly engaging and think it was some of Keanu's best work actually. Um, but... Yeah, I I guess I'm impressed. I'm not surprised. I'm I'm always impressed when movies can do that. Keep my attention while being incredibly stagnant. I found it stagnant. Maybe on a second viewing, I would notice the cinematography more. I, it never really caught my attention too much, except for some really great uh, smoking scenes that were happening with cigarettes. Um, uh, may, I, I think there were a couple other you know nice shots, like some great landscape shots, but throughout the movie, throughout the entire three hour runtime, there weren't a lot that caught my attention. The smoking ones I think will go down in history, like we'll see that in cinema books. Um, but yeah, I, I'm always impressed when movies that feel this stagnant with not a lot of movement in them can uh, stay engaging the entire time. Anyway, um, I feel like I did a bad job of describing this movie, but I think you should check it out. Uh, don't expect fast pace. It's uh, I, what I always say with good movies that are slow. I say, and I think I got this from somewhere, but I don't remember where. Uh, I would say it is. it has a measured pacing to it. Measured pacing. So, um, yeah, but don't don't expect anything quick. It is very slow and it is very long, but at the same time, it's I think very good um, uh, about trauma and and, and finding a, a better place after that uh, or trying to get through it. Um, and that's that's sort of what it tackles and in, in different relationships that can be formed uh, afterwards or very special relationships that can be formed afterwards, but. Uh, yeah, anyway, I, I keep trying to add more and I don't think I need to. Hopefully I didn't butcher this too much and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.